Over the last few years, I've filmed adventures all over the province of Manitoba. One experience has eluded me thus far, a trip to Manitoba's near north. Last year, good friend Bill Bradley put a bug in my ear about a trip that he and some longtime good friends take every June to Cranberry Portage. This year, I took Bill up on his gracious offer. I made the eight hour drive north so I could capture the experiences that happen above the 55th parallel. There, the men stay at Northern Spirit Lodge on the shores of Lake Athapathscow. The first morning broke clear, but the wind soon picked up. However, this did little to slow the lake trout bite down. The strategy used to catch lake trout is simple. Find mid-lake structure, then vertically fish it, waiting for active fish to come find your hook. Big fighter, not a big fish.
little bit bigger than those others. others. <laughs> you going to Murray? Yep. I got a double. Fresh fish cooked for lunch is a staple of such a trip. Bill, Remy, Neil, and Murray got to preparing the fish and the stoves. The smells coming from cooking were only second to the actual taste of freshly caught and cooked lake trout. With full bellies, the men headed back out into the lake looking for that one fish that would make the trip even more memorable. Way to go. Way to go. Oh, he's a big one. Okay, we're going to keep the net under a box. Oh, yeah. smokes. Oh, yeah. Ooh! 
<laughs> Just, yeah. Okay, let's get them on. Just makes it, eh? Or does he make it? Just bad. I make sure he's he's over. I'm right flush there. Okay. Just yeah, makes yeah, it. He makes 35. It. Yeah. The biggest one, but that's a nice fish. That that's a nice fish. Out. That's a master fish. Day one wrapped with an amazingly angelic boat ride back to the lodge and a quick meal before turning in for the night. Sunset in the near north comes late in the day and the night never gets truly dark. The next morning saw us head to Esquassum Lake in Grass River Provincial Park. The plan of attack was to catch some of Manitoba's provincial fish, the walleye, then do up our traditional walleye shore lunch. With calm waters on the lake, the walleye bite was slow. So moving around to find active fish was the best way to find, then catch lunch. And they'd have a sample, eh, of a smaller. Come on. A nice squash of walleye. Be able to throw two pike back. No, 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 no. What makes these adventures so special? Some say it's the experience, others say it's the camaraderie. I say it's a little bit of everything. 
spending time with good friends in a special area, enjoying great food and chasing that one in a lifetime fish that lurks in these waters. That's what makes these adventures north of the 55th parallel so special. <laughs>